Frank Rich, um, who is, was um, one of the longest serving critics of the New York Times, I, I read recently, he said of Noises Off, it is, was, and is likely to remain the funniest play written in my lifetime. Michael Frayn is an Englishman. He is still alive. He grew up in a, he was born in a suburb of, of London. Um, he is a fascinating, fascinating, brilliant man, uh, a journalist, um, a linguist, uh, a playwright, a novelist. Um, he's won many awards for many things. It is most, I'd say his two most famous plays, he's 83 years old now, born in 1933, his two most famous plays, one was, and they couldn't be more different, so he's also got this, this quite prodigious breadth of talent. He, um, his most famous uh, serious play was a play called Copenhagen, in which he, took a me he um, dramatized a meeting between Niels Bohr and uh, Werner Heisenberg, uh, who was involved in the creation of the atom bomb, and put those two together in a conversation. Um, and that play, Copenhagen, won a slew of awards around the world, including the Tony and the, and the Olivier Award. And then that's one side of it. He has many democracy and various plays that are very, uh, I'd say there's, there's a th one in the middle. I just realized. He was, one of the things that he did uh, in his youth is he went to, um, uh, to school to learn to read and translate Russian. And Michael Frayn is, I think anyone would, in England, would say that the premier translator of Chekhov, for instance, every one of Chekhov's major plays, if there's a major production of Chekhov in London, it's usually one that has been translated by Michael Frayn. So he became deeply, deeply knowledgeable about Russian literature, the Russian language, and not only, incidentally, those of you from, uh, with, have a long history with Soul Pepper, he's the only other person who ever staged a production. Remember we had a production in 1999 which won a ton of awards, and I know was one Alan saw, uh, called Platonov, that Laszlo Martin did. The only other version of Platonov that's ever come to North America is a play that was called Wild Honey that was, uh, that, Michael Frayn wrote and Ian McKellen played in, and it, was, it came to Broadway and everything. Wild Honey was the only other major piece that was based on Platonov. So Michael Frayn is deeply into Chekhov and deeply into the Russians. He's deeply into politics, where he writes plays like Copenhagen and Democracy. And then he has this side that loves the theater, loves the math of the theater, and has a very, very um, well-developed funny bone. And as Frank Rich said, you're about to see an extremely funny play. You're going to see a play in three acts. The first act you're going to see is the last desperate performance before the opening night of a rather tired British sex farce. And you're going to see a bunch of neurotic actors and a director, a, a director who's trying to maintain his cool, put together this last performance. It's already after midnight and we open tomorrow and they are going through the mechanics of what has to happen in this farce. Remember, farces are about doors and people you know, being caught with their pants down, literally. So it's doors, 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 and British sex farce. There's gotta be some people, various people of various sex in underwear at the, the, least, the worst possible time, and doors, 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 doors. That's act one. Act two is you flip the set around and you see a performance of the play and you actually see what happens backstage as these same people that you saw in the first thing with all their neuroses are trying to do the, the play from the other side. So you get the backstage look. And then act three, which is, which is the play late in its run where everyone is just so fed up with this awful play. <laughs> and for theater people, it's a beloved. I remember when we programmed it, um, there are many actors in this building who are not in the production, who are a bit brokenhearted. People like Gregory Prest, who said, please let me be in it, it's the, my favorite play ever written. It's a play that theater people love because everyone can find a slice of themselves in every one of those characters up there. You're gonna see people you've never seen before and you're gonna pe see people that you've seen a lot before and delight in, people like Oliver Dennis. Um, you are going to, uh, you're going to have a great deal of fun and I will say the thing that that as about this piece of writing that is so brilliant that I want you to look at. It's just think about, and I think we're all sophisticated enough that this won't ruin the evening, but as you're looking at the first act, which isn't uproariously funny, it's funny, but it's not uproariously funny. 
But then when you're watching the second act, which is uproariously funny, realize how brilliant was the writing of that first act that had mistakes happen so lines have to be repeated again. And now, can we go back from the place and then you repeat a line again and you repeat a line again? Because what this means is, after 45 minutes, we all have a deep knowledge of the crucial moments in this play so that now we can take them apart and create anarchy around them. And what he does so brilliantly with this first act is builds a profound knowledge of the moments that have to happen. But he does it in joke form. People are fucking up. And so, no, can we go back on that, please? And he, he disguises it in this thing. And what you're seeing is brilliant exposition designed as people screwing up and not knowing what to do. So that in act two and three, all you have to do. And so that's, that's when I watch it, that's when you just sit back and go, this guy is a master at what he does. So you're in for an absolutely delightful evening. You're in really good hands. You have an amazing company up there. And uh, it's really fun at the end of this week to, to have the last of our three openings in three days, one being Hosanna, which, you know, a great, great, very serious Canadian play that just received a rave review in the Globe, last night being an historic event at the CBC, and tonight being just pure theatrical candy. Thank you.